Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to Studio Report. My name is Rachel and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how I made my alcohol ink coffee tumbler morning mug. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this cup. This is going to be my own personal everyday morning mug. Um, I love a good coffee mug with a handle. It's just like a cozy feeling that you get. I've been wanting to try this style for quite some time, but I really wanted to do it on this type or style of tumbler, and I absolutely love it. The quote says, today's good mood is sponsored by coffee, which I love, and I had a really fun time making this. I actually screwed up um, I wanted to try something and I will always keep bloopers or mistakes in my tutorials because I think it's important to see and kind of learn from that stuff. Um, so it was a little challenging at first, but in the end I'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. So I will stop rambling and we can go ahead and get into the tutorial. I have already prepped my tumbler like normal. I gave it a good sand down with a sanding block and then washed it off really well. And then I went ahead and applied two nice even coats of Modern White by Krylon. That's one of my favorite white spray paints to use because it's not a stark white. It's a softer, almost ivory. It's just a really beautiful color. Again, I did two coats of that and then going into my first layer of epoxy. The epoxy that I use is Artist Resin by Counterculture DIY. It's the only one I've ever used and I do really like it. For the alcohol links, I am using the brand Ranger. I've used them quite a bit before and I always really like the final result with them. My whole game plan with this cup was to slowly rotate through all of the colors and slowly filling all of the white on the cup. I started with the lighter colors and then Mostly because I wasn't sure, like the caramel and latte, I thought that they would pull a little bit more yellow and orange. So I started with those first, and that's kind of what they did, and then slowly started to layer through the darker colors. Now I'm adding that snow cap white and you can see it's doing this weird spreading and it starts to get really chunky and moving and it just looked so awful. I was so upset. It's just moving, you can see. It'll start moving in chunks down the side of the cup. It literally looks like curdled milk. It was so gross. And I tried to save it by adding the Pinata Blanco alcohol ink, which is what I should have used in the first place. You can see it's spreading much better. But at this point, I just needed to walk away from the cup and figure out what's going to happen later. As you can see, the cup did not improve while I allowed it to dry overnight. It still looks gross and chunky and just, it's not a good look. So I did let it dry really well. I went in with another semi-decent thin coat of epoxy and I'm going to start this layering process all over again. This time I am using the Pinata Blanco. You can see it is spreading so much nicer. I don't know why I used the snow cap white. I must have assumed it's just white and it should do the same thing and it just did not. I also, this round, did not use any of the caramel or latte. I only used, for the browns, I used sepia, espresso, teak wood, and ginger, and then of course the Blanco um, white as well. I let my tumbler dry for about eight hours. It probably didn't need to go that long, but that's just what happened and with my timing on this before I went in with another coat of epoxy. After I epoxy, I do touch it with a blowtorch just to make sure that there, if there's any micro bubbles, that they are being popped. I also, after that step, I should have cleaned up my cup a little bit and sanded the rim. And because it wasn't a glitter cup, I feel like I just totally forgot to do that part. But here you can see I am really badly struggling with this vinyl decal. It was such a pain to weed. You can see the O flew off and then it bounced off my little pick. It, I use a matte adhesive vinyl and it's called, um, 
matte coral and it's the most beautiful color and then the background like the offset was just a really pretty cream but I tell you what I don't know if my um, transfer tape wasn't strong enough or what but I struggled hard to get that um, adhesive vinyl off of the paper it was such a pain so now I'm just going to make sure that it is all stuck down really well so that we have a nice seamless transfer again this cup I am just on the struggle bus it was it was like every part of this cup I just did not have an easy go at it I don't know what the problem was this transfer tape I don't know where it's from but it was not the easiest to work with that was for sure Now that my decal is finally freed from that backing, I'm going to go ahead and place it on my cup. I love this little pool noodle holder that I made. It was super cheap. I bought the noodle at the dollar store and just cut it down to size and use some tape to keep it together. And it really helps hold the cup steady when I'm trying to place decals on them. So the placement of this went on pretty seamlessly. My letter vinyls are very thin, so I want to make sure that they're really well placed under the vinyl below them. I'm going to now go ahead and use the Counterculture DIYs Quick Coat, which is a urethane sealer, to make sure that my vinyl is good and sealed onto the cup. So as I apply the final layers of epoxy, we are drama free. I do wind up sealing the whole cup. I don't always do this. But because of the style of the cup and with that handle, that made me nervous the whole time making sure that I wasn't going to forget anything on there. I just want to make sure that the final coats go on really seamlessly. Once my whole cup has been sealed with the quick coat, I turn the turner on and let it spin for about 45 minutes to an hour to fully dry. Then I will go in with my final coats of epoxy. I did not use this much. This is 30 milliliters. I was working on multiple cups today, um, but I did go ahead. I probably used 10 mLs for this coat. You really don't need that much on these. They're just not that big of a cup. Make sure when you are going around to get around that handle. This handle really tripped me up. I This was my first time ever working with this style of tumbler, and in the end, it all turned out great but it was really challenging to remember to make sure that it was coated with every layer as we went through. And then also not forgetting the bottom of the cup as well. I did let this dry overnight before I went into my second coat and final coat. And then after I apply the coats of epoxy, I do always hit it with my little torch to make sure that there's no micro bubbles. Now that our final coats of epoxy has dried, I can go ahead and clean up my cup. This cup was a lot more difficult to clean up only because I never cleaned it up in the middle of the process like I normally do. Again, I think just because there was no glitter on the cup, I just totally forgot to sand it. So here I'm going in with just a really sharp crap, sharp craft knife to get any epoxy off the top of the cup which you can see there is a little bit of overspill there, making sure not to one, cut myself, but then also scrape the inside of the cup as well. This did take me a little longer to clean than usual, but um, again, it was just a step that I forgot to take earlier on. Once I feel that the top rim has been cleaned up really well, I take a paper towel and I put that in pure acetone and then I clean up the overspray of spray paint on the inside of the cup. I usually go around with that a couple of times just to make sure that it is all off. And then I will go ahead and wash the cup with a very mild detergent. I usually use Norwex and a separate cleaner for just my tumblers. And then I dry it off really well. I really love this cup. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and all the bloopers that came along with it. 
If you did like this video or like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help support my channel. And if you have not become part of my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. Any recommendations, tips, tricks, uh, suggestions you may have, leave it down in the comments down below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, bye.